Okay, I modified the tray just to reiterate, we tried the tray on Adam, we can see his front teeth are now completely clear. We've got a window where the anterior loose teeth would be. Imagine Adam's got loose teeth, okay? So now, as with any tray, you need to modify it to make sure it fits. We're going to fill in the void in the pallet and the void buckling. So, down the process here, a piece of standard sheet modelling wax. Nothing fancy, you could use impression compound. You don't need to. So you would do this if the patient had the dentist gaps at the back, three and so you would use compound. So it just warms the wax up, place it in the pallet, place it high, place it soft. Go to the patient, tell them it's going to be warm in the pallet, stretch the face, push up, and now the wax is now pressing against the pallet. Watch the patient's eyes, he's not crying, it doesn't hurt. That's filled in the gap in the pallet. Now we know it's going to be short buckly, so we're going to add some wax buckly. So the other piece of wax you prepared earlier. the wax. In this case, we open two sections posteriorly. We haven't got a wax knife, so it's fairly organised here. Add the wax to get the buckle soft in depth. Push the wax against the tray. Place the tray in the mouth. Make sure we've got the full circle depth. So if this was a freehand saddle, this would be impression compound. So now the wax has formed the buckle sulcus on one side, and now we're going to do exactly the same on the other. So this is actually adapting the tray to fit the mouth. And the piece of wax is too warm. And the wax again. Back to the patient, same again, and this is now a modified stock tray. So use your finger to push the wax into the buckle sulcus. Pick it out, modified tray.